Hi everyone, I'm Kylie De La Cruz and I will be teaching you about the difference between the farmed and wild caught fish that are sold in grocery stores and markets, along with how both fish harvesting methods can affect the environment. Why choose seafood? Aside from the taste, many people choose to eat seafood because it is a great source of protein and because harvesting them tends to leave behind a smaller carbon footprint than meat from land animals. Now you may be asking yourself, how is seafood harvested and what are the environmental effects? To answer these questions, let's take a look at how we get our fish. There are three different ways that fish can be caught. Fish can be wild caught or caught by fishermen in the wild, their natural habitat. Fish can also be farmed or raised in a controlled environment like any normal farm. And similarly, aquaculture also involves raising fish in a controlled environment. Unlike fish farming, which is specific to fish, aquaculture refers to the farming of aquatic animals and plants. Let's learn a bit more about wild caught fish. Fishing methods. Bottom trawling is when a big net with weights attached is dragged across the ocean floor. This is a common way to catch a lot of fish without using too much effort. However, it is a big issue for ocean life because it destroys coral reefs, which are the habitats for many sea animals. Persane fishing is when a boat throws a big net into the ocean and catches a school of fish by closing the top like a small drawstring pouch. The problem with this method is that bycatch is a huge problem. Bycatch is when other sea creatures such as sea turtles and sharks are caught in the nets by accident. These nets can easily injure unsuspecting sea life. While these sea animals are occasionally captured, they are often returned to the ocean. Let's take a look at some more environmental impacts. Fishing boats are the main contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, which cause global warming. When it comes to the fishing process, Chemicals used to refrigerate fish on boats also contribute to gas emissions, although there are some environmentally friendly options available. Fish are capable of feeding and caring for themselves before being caught, so we don't see too big of a carbon footprint until we start to fish for them. Overfishing is when more fish are caught than the population can handle. This leads to shrinking numbers of fish in the ocean. These extremely low fish populations can cause an imbalance in the ecosystem. Additionally, we need to be mindful about what types of fish we are catching to limit extinction. Overfishing is a big issue for biodiversity, or the variety of life, in the ocean. If we think about the food chain, or even a chain in general, if one link in a chain is lost, the chain falls apart. We need to think about the other effects of a decreasing population of fish. The sea creatures it eats as food would increase in population, the predators that eats that fish population would decrease, and the cycle repeats, throwing off the balance of the original ecosystem. Proper regulation over wild fishing would ensure that this renewable resource can continue to feed us. A renewable source is a source that is able to be replenished naturally. In this case, I'm referring to wild fish. Fishing nets. Aside from bycatch, fishing nets are a problem because some are abandoned in the ocean and on beaches. This contributes to pollution and increases the chances of more sea creatures getting injured and stuck in these nets. Now onto the environmental impacts of farmed fish. Feeding and electricity. Feed production is the most emissions heavy part of aquaculture. This includes the growing, harvesting, processing, and the transporting of feed and feed ingredients because feed is made of products like soy and grain, which are mass produced. Electricity, which is a huge contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, is needed to clean, circulate, aerate, and maintain the temperature of the water pools to suit the needs of the fish. Invasive species and waste. Farmed fish can escape from their aquaculture pools and farms and become invasive species. An invasive species is a type of organism that, when introduced to a new and different environment, invades and negatively impacts the ecosystem. Additionally, waste produced from fish farms can also pollute the environment. So, what is needed and what is already being done? What is needed is for electricity to come from clean energy sources, not fossil fuels, to reduce the gas emissions. What is being done is by using estimations of how much feed needed for aquaculture to lower greenhouse gas emissions, we avoid overproducing feed and therefore overproducing greenhouse gases. Now that you've learned all of that, let's take a quick quiz to test your knowledge. What is the relationship between aquaculture and farm fish? Farm fish are raised using aquaculture in controlled environments. What is bottom trawling and why is it harmful to the environment? Bottom trawling is when weighted nets are dragged along the ocean floor. 
This can harm coral reefs. What is the risk of fish escaping aquaculture environments? When they escape, they become invasive species. This hurts the ecosystem and alters the biodiversity in the area. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new about farmed and wild-caught fish. See you next time.